So the hot topic in the community is sliding and I made three builds, one on Hunter, Titan, and Warlock that don't really use sliding, it's not their optimal play, and this is the Titan version. Lion Rampant plus a hip fire weapon and a shotgun. I know, real original, but in Destiny sometimes you just read the perks and it makes sense. This is one of those times. Case in point. Wow, so much sliding there. Gonna get the high angle, hit sec. Very nice, got my resist, ready to go. Sure I slid there. I'm not trying not to slide, I'm just telling you it's not the best option a lot of the time. And I'm also not getting hit there, and I'm also willing to take the stability bump. And I'm firing from the hip anyway, so my flinch is already the worst it can be. There we go, huge, ADS off spawn, now I go back to hip fire, huge. Being able to command the sky like this with great accuracy is nuts. It still might be perfect, my shot just might be bad right now. I'm okay with that as long as we got the hunt. Uh, truthfully, I should not have thrown that slide down instead. Not the slide, the uh, wave of ice. I should have thrown my nade down. Usually I'm uh, in a habit of using my melee as soon as possible because I get it refunded with just one glacier. But that, that's my B. That's my B. I'm trying to play the zone advantage. And before anybody says it, Cam, you need to cap more zones. No, I don't. I need to slay out so that someone else can cap a zone. Because if I'm standing on the zone, my teammates are getting farmed or I'm 1v6ing on the zone. It's not worth. I'd rather my teammate 1v0 on the zone while I 1v5. That melee lunge messed me up, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm still racking up the kills. Think this is worth... Huge. He popped a super, I popped a super. I go to power ammo with this. I think power ammo is better than my super anyway. So I might as well just grab it. If you're playing with the team, Behemoth Super is still amazing, and against other supers, it's also amazing. I should have aimed more in between them. I messed up there. Yeah, if you get like a full rhyme over shield before going in with the super, it's amazing. Otherwise, you kind of need the team to play off your ice. Your free ice generator there. Point and shoot. Point and shoot. So yeah, if you're worried about the slide change, might be time to uh, start thinking of some other loadouts. And this one's just as good as it's ever been. Yes, I run double scout targeting, but that also barely cost anything. I run one unflinching in case I aim down sights. My build is pretty balanced across the board. Yes, I could substitute a grenade launcher, but as you saw in a lot of plays, I kind of just shot the shotgun from the hip while floating at a weird angle, and it worked. Sliding would have been predictable. Now, yes, there are going to be some maps like Burnout, for example, where there's a low ceiling, 
and sliding is the only option because you can't really jump in those scenarios. You'll just be showing them their legs and you won't even see their body and you'll just get shot in the foot. So in those kind of situations, yeah, sliding's your only option. Titan also has a barricade though, so you can slide into a barricade in the corner and then just use that to just like jiggle peek for a free shot or two while you distract. Um, I'll go ahead and spoil it. The Warlock build is Wings of Sacred Dawn to do a similar effect as in-air hipfire. It's just in-air ADS, so you can use something like, instead of being tied to Dead Man's Tail, you can use Ace of Spades, you can use Chaperone, you can use Duality, you can use a Sniper Rifle. You can play it on Bottom Tree Dawn Blade too, right? So you can get that new directional Phoenix Dive. Pretty sick. And then Hunter is Invis, right? Because you never want to slide, otherwise you break the Invis. And the funny thing is if you combine all three of those together, they kind of create a very nasty team. Especially since Behemoth feeds the Hunter more smokes. So you can, you know, go Trick Smoke, recover your energy from the Titan while going Invis to get a new angle. And then Warlock can fly in, be the first in the room, demand all the aggro because they have extra damage resistance from aiming down sight. So it kind of works in tandem. I, I'm curious to see what happens to Chaos Reach because I would easily substitute Chaos Reach in for any of those three. Because at a certain point, you have too much aerial presence and instead of enemies pre-aiming the ground, they're going to start pre-aiming the air and take away that advantage from you. That's part of the reason I don't recommend Top Tree Dawn in the future because you're going to ping on the radar, which is bad. So now I got the forward speed, the skate. New angle. Let's go protect B. You want to try to put your crosshair where your movement will end up. So that's the skill with these kind of loadouts. That's the theme of this aerial play. Gonna crouch to go off radar, hold my angle, ready to snap to the right. Watching my radar behind me. It's okay to miss those. So the whole team's gonna be right here. Good, I want him to overcommit. Let's get that power ammo. Easy day. This is what I'm talking about with low ceilings, where I can't really use my exotic. I just want resist here. I'm gonna crouch it out, chill, get some shotgun reload in because I'm gonna need it. You're gonna run out of ammo. Just slide for evasive maneuver, don't try to fight. Easy day. 56 damage even for a body shot is a ton. Look, no slide. Look, no slide. Just use your uh, rate of fire shoddy to best people in close quarters like that. Ow. Was he off radar? Yeah, I just wasn't looking. That's my view. I'm perfectly okay just chilling here. Let's go crush some crystals. Very nice. So yeah, just let your movement walk into the crosshair. Put your, like you want the crosshair to end up at a head glitch, usually. Be ready to pull the trigger immediately because unlike a snipe, 
you have as much primary ammo as you want. So taking the first shot is not really bad, although you do have to be careful about spamming shots with this thing because obviously stability bloom. I hit three with that? Okay, we take those. Yeah, let me show you the roll on this one. This is a full stability, full recoil, high cal to win fights. It's a perfect roll. The other one has more range with armor piercing, which was very valuable when Shade Binder was at its peak because it used to be able to turn people into cover by freezing them and then shooting through a frozen target. But now that it's not a thing, I'll just take the stability to mitigate the bloom so I can take pot shots without being punished. So yeah, sliding not strictly necessary with this build, it's just pre-aim, let your movement walk your crosshair where it needs to be. And as you get really good at this, you're going to be able to aim against your movement. So the tip I'll give tomorrow on Wings of Sacred Dawn is aim opposite the direction that your drift is pushing you. So if you're drifting to the right, you want to aim slightly to the left of your target to anticipate the very, very slight movement of the drift ending. So if you're going for headshots, aim at the left side of their head if you're drifting to the right, and that'll put your crosshair into like perfect three tap territory. So that's what I'm actively thinking about. And yes, it's hard to do at first. It takes a lot of effort to do, but after maybe 30 games of thinking like that with your aim, trying to let your movement work your crosshair, then you can get that freedom to start just flicking shots from that movement. Once you have that habit down, then you don't have to think about it as much and you can go back to playing normally and, you know, get in the Myron Banner tokens. Hope those tips help. I s repeated it a lot to really drill it in. I think I still have the capture bounty because, like I always say, capturing zones does not win matches. Slaying equals capturing zones, which wins matches. So, slay to make it safe for one person to be able to cap a zone for free with nobody fighting them. And always prioritize power unless you're going to force a triple cap. Because preventing someone from running around with air apparent is way better than being uh, one flag to two flag. Or two flag to one flag. Whatever the advantage was. I really don't even want to play another. I feel like I've done this build justice. So I'll see you in the next one. This is the no slide titan. Yes, it's not original, but it gets the job done, and I still can't believe people don't use Dead Man's Tail more. This is the best gun in the game. Take care, everyone.